Hey, I'm Jason. In this video, we're going to put back together an iBook G4. This goes for the 933 MHz to the 1.3 GHz models. So, um, if you're watching this video, you've already taken it apart, done what you needed to, and we're putting it back together. So, let's get started. First thing, it should look about like this. We're just going to put the top shield back on first. Situate it here. These tabs out here should go on the outside. There's two screws that are longer. They're both marked. I just kind of put all the screws here. The four millimeter screws are here and here. Now this one here, this lower hole isn't marked with the M2X3, but that's one you need to put back in. And also this middle one here isn't marked. This other four millimeter one goes through the little display cable here and then into the hole. Okay, now that that's together, I'm going to put the top case on. This is pretty easy. Um, just kind of line it up and push it down. Oh, jeez. There are three things you have to connect. Um, there's the power switch, the speakers, and the mouse. Um, so let's get those connected. I start with the mouse because it's the longest. And your mouse cable might look a little different depending on the model, but they all kind of hook in right there. Kind of use the screwdriver to help me push this one in. And power switch. Okay, so now we're ready to put it on. We uh, just have to go over this um, AC in. Just kind of lever something up over that. That's the hard part, and then it should just snap in the rest of the way. Okay, now three screws hold this on. this and go to the bottom side. Right. There's 
several screws here. I should have some really long ones, 14 and a half millimeters. And then one slightly shorter one, just a little 12 millimeter one. The 12 millimeter one goes down here in this lower corner. Let's go up here. Three screws in the battery compartment. These are the really small ones. And then the last three are inside the and by the DVD drive. It helps to have a magnetic screwdriver here. One just fell off the screwdriver, so I'm kind of using the magnet, the magnetic end to see if it'll go straight up and down into the hole. It's not going to play along. So...